I'm just wondering, you you get the call up, you're going to be in tonight. I mean, it all kind of happens very fast for that first game of the season. Um, what is, what have things sort of been like for you down in Utica to get you to this point? I, I mean, down in Utica, uh, we have a good team down there. Uh, I've been playing lots, so i um, just getting a lot of confidence and uh, working on my game down there, and I feel ready to go tonight. How crucial have those minutes been that you've gotten to play there, especially, you know, going through injuries the last couple months and all that, just getting that, you know, consistent level of play? Yeah, I really haven't played too much hockey the past couple of years, so um, to be, you know, playing a lot and playing a lot of games, uh, you know, just feeling more confident with my game uh, and more consistent, so um, I feel like I'm ready to be here uh, and ready to play tonight. What's the, the biggest area of improvement maybe you want to see from, from your game or maybe making an impact? Obviously, a 10th NHL game here, but it seems like you've been around a lot longer than you think. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I feel like uh, I want to show that I can play here uh, mm -hmm. and I belong in the NHL. Uh, I feel like I do, and um, you know, it's just tonight's a big game and a big test against a good team. So um, to show that I could play against, uh, you know, um, at this level and, uh, and just try to do my job to help the team win. What What is it at this level that will allow you to show that? Like, what do you want to see from yourself? Not not thinking about the coaching staff, but from yourself. Yeah, I just want to go out there, work hard, be be good on the walls, um, you know, just do everything in the, in the game the right way, uh, all the little details. And I think that's, if I do that, I think I'll have a good game and uh, I think uh, it'll just benefit the team. How well do you feel like you meshed uh, with, the, with, with the board line you're out there with today? Good. Yeah, I mean, it's more in skate, but I felt like, uh, you know, we were pretty crisp, uh, moving the puck well, and uh, I've played with Mikey before, so uh, I feel like me and him have a little bit of chemistry, and then Woody's a great player, too, so um, I think, you know, a lot of speed, and uh, I think we'll be good tonight. Maybe without, you know, Bass being able to play uh, recently, and obviously Mikey and, and Woody have that chemistry, do you feel that you can bring that? third part of element a little bit the way Bass does that rough and tumble but also being able to contribute on the scoreboard? Yeah, I think Bass is a big big component of that line um, and I think we have some similarities in our games so hopefully I can uh, you know do uh, as good a job as he does on that line and, and just help him. You know, I know we, we, they were just joking about it, but uh, how has your, your brother's uh, sort of rise to fame looked like from your perspective? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, you know, he hasn't had an easy road, um, you know, up and down in the AHL, NHL and through injuries. So. Uh, to finally see him, you know, break through last year and now this year to continue that success. Um, you know, a lot of hard work's gone into that, so I'm, I'm just happy for him. He, he talking trash to you uh, when you get home? Uh, no, <laughs> no. He's, he's, you know, we're each other's fans and we want each other to do well, so, um, you know, he's going to watch the game tonight, I'm sure. Uh, if they don't have a game, I'm not sure. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I'm, I think he's just happy for me to, uh, to be here and for the opportunity. Do you sort of feel like you're – more looking forward to a game like this where you guys obviously didn't have the result that you wanted against Boston last time, but now you have this this other opportunity and really, you know, first half of the season can put behind you in a way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think obviously we, we were going in with some frustration in the, in the Christmas break, but also some motivation. And uh, I think the break kind of came in handy for us to kind of recharge a little bit and, and uh, really um, focus on coming back with new energy and new mm -hmm. focus and new motivation. So I think that's what the break break really helped us with. I feel like we all came in ready yesterday and, and today too. We were we were ready, we were committed and uh, we got a new goal in mind to um, to get back on track on playing really, really good 60 minute hockey from, from the whole lineup and we got a good test today and we're excited about that. How have you seen maybe in recent weeks the level of play from other teams also against you guys, you know, go up a notch as you enter this next part of the year? Oh, well, other teams are doing their job. They know how know how we play, they know what kind of speed we have, they know how good we are offensively, and um, they're starting reading off of us, and that's just up to us to, to step up our game. Mm -hmm. that, that's all it is. They're, they've been doing their job uh, their couple of games, and we, we have easily seen when we play the way we should play and the, the, we, the way we can play, like down in Florida, we, we're playing really good hockey, and that makes us makes us win a lot of games. So that's, we're just going to have to look at the facts to see what makes us successful and, and go from there. What's the most important thing that you need to neutralize against the Bruins that you guys weren't able to do last time? Or was it more of you beat yourselves? Yeah, I think it, it has a little bit of that to do. I feel like we had a couple line changes that didn't go as planned and we were um, lacking a little bit of focus in that play and we gained in some rush chances that we know we can't give this type of team and uh, they get a lot of good 
uh, goal scorer and guys that makes a lot of plays. So um, those small details kind of matter. The face-off plays are kind of matter. They scored off a face-off. So uh, all these small details when you're playing against a good team like it. But uh, we're going to focus on our own game. We're going we're gonna to come back to playing a fa fast, relentless game when we uh, get a lot of shots on it and um, get in front of old Mark too. But just last year, you guys deal with some injuries and everything like that. Maybe you didn't uh, respond to it the way you wanted to. Um, how much more confident do you feel this year uh, when you're facing uh, some of these injuries, um, you know, this team's ability, ability to bounce back? Yeah, we've got a good core. We've got a good core, guys, that um, steps up. And I um, mean, obviously, you never want any of the any of the guys to go out with injuries and stuff. But that's something uh, we all feel like we've been battling with before, and we know how to handle it. And, we just got to focus on the guys that are in the room or the guys that are going to have to get it done. That's everything we have to see it. Uh, obviously, we want, want the guys back, but at the same time, we just have to face it. And uh, the, the guys in the room has to do it, and uh, we're committed to do so. Is that sort of maybe some of the conversations that looked like uh, internally over the past couple of days? Uh, maybe you know, just telling some of those younger guys, like, hey, like, you know, this is a, a new step you guys got to take. Yeah, I think we're I think we're um, grown up enough to to realize that ourselves. And uh, obviously, we're we're putting a lot of pressure on each other, and we're uh, putting pressure on ourselves too to uh, be a better version and uh, really step up in these games. These are some really really good teams and top teams that we're playing against these next couple of weeks, and uh, we got to make sure we're uh, we're on top of that. Having a player like um, Tice be able to come up, take a role on that fourth line, is, does he have a similar vibe to Nate Bastion a little bit in the the way that they play with that roughness? Yeah, you know, uh, high energy, physical, you know, I think that it's part of the game that was important to us when we were going well. Uh, you know, a line that could change momentum, could change the really the physicality inside of the game. So it you know fits with the playing with those two guys and we're just hoping to give us real good energy. You had Alex Holtz for a while being in the lineup. Is there something more that you need to see from like where, where are you kind of at with your evaluation with him? Well just uh, you know we're still in really in the same place. Uh, you know he's working hard off ice, he's working hard in the practices. Uh, we're working on pace and small ice play and uh, he's just got to continue to grow. What area is a, is a focus when it comes to particularly dissecting that second period against Boston <clears throat> the other night? Well, you know, we, uh, I mentioned the other night we had a tough change that cost us a goal. Uh, right after that, we had a two and one that we could have scored on. Uh, we probably had four great A's that we didn't score on. Uh, and you look at the, the opportunities that, that went in for them. We had a bad puck handle between a goalie and a defenseman. Um, so it was plays that we could control. You look at a face-off play that one of the plays inside of a game that we get, get to control and uh, we lost coverage. Uh, so we look at those three plays. Uh, uh, two of them, the puck is in our hands. And uh, the other one was just, it was an error on when to leave the ice. We talk a lot about getting to a certain point in the season where everyone elevates their game, not, not just your team, but teams around the league. What does that need to look like for your group? Well, we have some some players that are stepping in, replacing guys right now that uh, we need them to be next man in and play well for us. Uh, that's what it looks like right now. Um, uh, every team goes through this. Uh, we're going through a little bit, uh, bit of a stretch where you know some key personnel are out. We're going to get some guys back uh, sooner than later. Uh, but in the meantime, you got to play well defensively. you got to take care of what you can take care of. Is the, the sooner rather than later guys, is that, is that a lot or is that... Uh, Nate Bastion is back skating, uh, but you know he's not close to coming back line. Plot is uh, obviously being on the ice and back-to-back -back days is getting closer. Um, I would say out of the whole crew, he would be he'd be the closest out of the bunch. Um, you know, and every day he feels better out there. I just wondered about uh, Green Clark got, got a, a nice AHL nod this week, Player of the Week. Uh, was the decision to call up Tice over him was it purely a scheme fit type of thing or? Uh, really based on, you know, based on our needs. When you look at, um, you know, our right side where Clark may play, um, you know, we've had, we've had uh, Brad on that side, we've had Mercer on that side. So that it, when you're looking at what would fit for, for Graham Clark, you'd, you'd look at a top offensive role. We need uh, somebody down the lineup to give us some physicality, give us some penalty killing, uh, uh, looking at high energy. So we're looking at, you know, a little bit of a different player. Um, 
in terms of last year, you know, dealing with injuries versus this year dealing with injuries, do you feel more confident um, in the depth that can, that can slide in? I do. You know, I think you look at, uh, you know, the hot trick and you look at the Kevin Ball, especially on the back end, uh, you've got two players that have experience now, that have played some games, that have a couple of years in the in the America League, know what it's like. Uh, I think you can look up front uh, without uh, Palat. Uh, we've been able to have next man in and, and fill, in, fill in well. Uh, Bastion, I, I think uh, Thompson is, we're looking for that type of replacement. Uh, so uh, we have been able to. Uh, we just got to make sure that we win games now. Thank you.